body weight is 190.6 pounds. Body weight is 190.6 pounds. <laughs> Monday, March the 7th. Um, I'm traveling home solo. I miss my husband already. Um, I don't think that today is going to be very interesting. It's honestly and truly just a travel day. Um, as soon as I get home, I'm going to school. So there's that. But I figured I'd check in and start the week off vlogging correctly when I remember. So I'll show you guys like at the airport me traveling and um maybe i'll even do some stuff with me going to school tonight we'll see hope you have a good start to your week I'm gonna show you guys how I eat. Um, I went to Chick-fil-A because you know I like chicken in the South. Um, they did not have salads at the Chick-fil-A in the airport, so I'm gonna show you what I put together. Um, I already ate my fries, but it was like a medium fry, and I ate half of that, and I probably won't eat fries anymore. Um, just because, like right now, my stomach, it just feels so tight and so full, and I don't like that feeling. And last night I went out to eat and I ate way too much and I felt like I was going to throw up. So I really need to like get back on my eating program. And not even a program, just eating how I'm used to eating because it's hard when you're eating and you're eating out. So I'm really looking forward to being home this week and getting settled back into my norm. So I'll show you guys what I got in the airport and then, yeah. So prayers for safe travels for me. Good morning. It is Tuesday, March the 8th. Um, I'm up and about out of the house already. Uh, Madison had a few appointments. She has a dermatology appointment, fancy. And then she has her vet appointment. So I am handling those things. Um, I have not eaten yet today. I did bring, so I bought out I'm starting my trying to my chlorophyll again so my water with my chlorophyll in it and I bought a shake um so yesterday after I ate my salad with the chicken on it that I showed you all on the plane when I went to school I got these like jalapeno cheddar puffs from Trader Joe's and then it was like the gateway to binge eating open and I went home and I ate some, what is it called? I ate uh, some trail mix, monster mix from Target, really good. But what people will not let tell you is that like BSG is not some magic fix. And for me, like I can pretty much like I'm not, I don't have an issue with sugar. I don't dump. I do sometimes get a headache if I eat um, sugar. Um, and my stomach may get like a little tight on certain things that I eat. So I'm still an emotional eater. And I know that I need to work through that and find other coping mechanisms. Um, because I'm almost a year out. And I don't want this surgery to have been in vain. 
Um, so, and granted, like a year out, I have lost, well, we'll talk about some, a gain that just recently happened, but I lost, um, 80 pounds in a year. Um, so that is great. And I would like to continue to lose. So when I got on the scale this morning, I weighed 190 pounds. Before I left to go away, I weighed myself like maybe three days before I left and I weighed 186. So this is the first gain that I've had since this journey. Um, and people will say this is normal, you know. I know that I haven't been eating my best. Like last week while I was home, I was eating well, but then this weekend I told you like I ate and I felt really, really uncomfortable after eating on Sunday. And it wasn't that I ate too much. It was that I ate too much in a short amount of time. So there was only a 90 minute window at the table. So in that 90 minutes, I had drinks, appetizer, dinner, and uh, dessert, which normally would take me almost three hours to eat like that right and I had a three bites of this two bites of that I had one lamb chop which was a lollipop lamb chop so very little um so it's easier for you to get full on eating like protein um so I'll eat three bites of salmon and I'm full and as opposed to like, I'm able to eat three large handfuls of trail mix. So I'm starting over today. I'm not gonna beat myself up for overeating. I'm not even gonna beat myself up for the four pounds of the weight gain. I know what I need to do, which is put protein first. And so I'm gonna be doing that. I'm going to go to the market today or maybe Instacart um, to get a few things. Um, yeah, I've already made a decision of how I'm going to, I made a, a food list. So I'm going to go to Instacart today and get, I mean, I'm going to Instacart today and get a few things that I need. And then when I get in from Madison's appointments, I can make myself some lunch and then I know what I'm taking for dinner. And then portion is very important. So I need to go back to my smaller portion sizes and it's great that I'm starting with my protein shake. Um, and yeah, I, I know what I got to do. So I'm going to just do it. And I'll show you all what I'm doing. So first thing is the shake. And then um, I'll show you guys as I'm meal prepping everything else. So. <sighs> okay, so my Instacart order came. And I wanted to show you guys just something. Well, every, this is everything I got. So I got these... Um, Fairlife Core Power um, Protein Shakes. I got the 42 gram one and the 26 gram one. So with having VSG, I'm supposed to have between 80 and like 100 um, calories of protein a day. It might be more now that I'm one year out. But um, these are great to start my day with because I can drink them. And when I do the 42 um, gram ones, I'm already halfway to 80 and the 26 gram ones i add them into shakes and stuff like that because i'll do collagen which has like 20 grams of protein also um i got some sugar-free um chocolate vanilla pudding swirls just because it'll crave my sweet tooth and i can also add protein in it i have some flavors iso flavorless iso pure protein which i probably won't bother to add but if i wanted to i could um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I gave up coffee for Lent. So um, I gave up Starbucks, period, but it's spe specifically and especially the coffee. So I love these energy drinks um, from V8. And they actually, nutritionally wise, are pretty decent. It's uh, zero added sugar. There are 10 grams of sugar. So I'll do these like every other day because I'm only supposed to have 20 grams of sugar completely, totally in a day. Um, and these uh, Fair Life, they have eight grams of sugar. So if I have one of these and one of these, I'm already at 20. So I have to be mindful of that. 
I mean, if I'm being honest, I'll go between 20 and 30 grams of sugar, no more than 50. Um, so that's that's fine. I got some cucumbers for um, a salad. I wanted to do a cucumber and avocado feta salad, but I think I'm just going to do a regular Caesar salad or regular salad just with cucumbers. Um, you'll see. <laughs> I got some mint to go into my smoothies. Uh, remember last week I got that smoothie that had the ginger and the mint with the apple, the coconut water. I have everything else in the refrigerator except for the mint. I got that. I got some green onions because I'm going to make these salmon rice bowls. What I make them with quinoa. So I got the green onions for that, the green beans for that as well. And then I got just some regular romaine salad mix. Um, I got these veggie spirals because I made some turkey um, meat sauce last week for spaghetti. So I'm going to eat that today. I, and I mix these with these, which I already had, but I'll show you with these. Berea veggie um, noodles. I mix them together. Um, and then when I serve it, I of course do more of this than I do of the pasta. I got these coconut aminos to cook my, um, salmon in, uh, because it has less sodium than regular and even low sodium soy sauce. And this does have four grams of added sugar. I mean, sometimes you just have to take the bad or what's perceived as bad with the good like this is way better for me because of the low sodium and then I got some gorgonzola cheese for my salad I'm going to do uh my take on it's not going to be a Caesar salad but just my take on a I'm gonna do a shrimp BLT salad which is packed with protein I got some mayonnaise for the sriracha sauce for the um the salmon bowls, I got Godchild turkey bacon. It is my favorite turkey bacon. It is it's not that dried up like stuff that people get. It's really, really meaty and flavorful and good. I got some eggs so I can do boiled eggs in my salad. I got bananas for my shake. They're kind of green, so I have two that are left from last week that I'll use. Well, actually, I probably didn't need, need to buy these because I use only a half a banana in my shakes. And then I got this holy moly, well, this holy guacamole avocado verde. And I do not, since surgery, really like avocado anymore or even guacamole, but it's a healthy fat. So I got this to put on my salad. So, yep, that is all of the groceries that I got that will last me, like paired with some of the stuff that I already have. That will last me for the rest of the week. So I'm about to make myself some lunch. And I'm probably going to have a late dinner because I'm eating lunch really late. And it's almost time for me to go to school. So I want to hold on. I want to get to a point where I don't eat after 7.30. My dinner break at school is from 7 to 7.30. Especially like Monday through Thursday if I don't eat after 7.30. But today, it just didn't happen that way. So I'm going to heat up my meat sauce for my spaghetti and eat that now. And then um, when I come home, I'll make my, um, my BLT salad. And I'll just take some nuts or something. Or I may buy a salad, <clears throat> which kind of defeats the purpose when I'm trying to save money. But I may buy a salad for today just so... I can stop eating at that 7.30 mark. When I come home tonight, I can make the shrimp and everything for my BLT salad. So tomorrow I can just put it together and go. So yeah, there's that. So here is my lunch. It is um, ground turkey, meat sauce, um, with onions, green peppers, red peppers. And let me show y'all. And I put a little bit of, um, what's that stuff? Uh, grated cheese on top but see how I mix the vegetable noodles with the zoodles or whatever and this is like the size that I'm able to eat and not all in one sitting like I will more than likely um finish this in like an hour 
in two sittings. Like, I have to eat half and then come back and eat the other half. I don't know how many ounces this is. So out of that food that I just ate, this was all I was able to eat. I can't eat anymore. I feel like really stuffed. Like the last bite I took, probably I shouldn't have taken. So I'm going to put this up so I can get ready to go to school. And then I will probably not be hungry during my lunch break. I will probably um, just come home and eat a salad because I don't want to buy a salad and then waste it you know or come home and just finish this like I have some more meat sauce left so I may just finish this and then finish out my night with a green shake so there's that good morning well afternoon it's up in late today it is Wednesday March 9th um I just had my chlorophyll and my medicine and all my vitamins and all of those things. So I am about to make a shake. Um, I didn't realize that my pineapples had gone bad that I had chopped up. So when I went to go buy pineapples yesterday, they were sold out. Like it was just grapes. So I don't know if there's going to be a pineapple shortage. Hopefully not. So I'm just going to do a strawberry banana spinach um shake so come with me while i make it so i made myself a big shake today um just cuz um I also use the whole protein shake. It's a little bit more watery than I like it, but it's fine. Um, and it, this is probably 26, 36. This is 44 grams of protein. So I'm already almost at 80, which is a good thing. So cheers. Oh, so for lunch, I'm going to make um, my uh, shrimp BLT salad. And I'm also going to be preparing my dinner, which is going to be a salmon, um, like quinoa rice bowl. So I'll be doing that after I do a few around the house things. So I'm about to make myself some lunch. I'm making the BL, the shrimp um blt salad so i will show you guys that so since i'm making it i'm gonna make two salads out of this i'm gonna do three pieces of bacon a trick when you boil eggs if you are like running out of time um if you put a little bit of so I have my bacon going for my um, turkey bacon and shrimp salad. Um, when I have my boiled eggs boiling, when you are running low on time, as far as um, boiling eggs are concerned, if you put a cap full of vinegar in it, it'll help the eggs boil quicker. Um, and I'm about to season the shrimp and cook that up and then I'm gonna put the salad together. Now, this is probably going to make me two salads. It could even make me three salads. I measured that little cup, um, the not the cup, but the small little container that I showed you all um, yesterday that I ate the spaghetti in. And it's only a cup and a half of food. So that makes sense why I can only eat half of it and then half of it. Um, so, yeah. So I do have a ton of restriction because I think before I was able to eat like a half a cup in one sitting so now it's like three quarters of a cup and even last night when i ate the like when i ate it again for dinner i was like i feel like i ate one spoonful too much and was well feeling horrible so so to season my shrimp i'm going to use a little bit of this old bay seasoning and this dash, dash of daisy blackish seasoning 
And Dash of Daisy is owned by a black woman. Um, seasonings are bomb. Get you some. Get you some. Yes. And these are the frozen shrimp. And I just um, dethawed them so they're already clean. They do have the tail on them, which I'm not necessarily a fan about. Y'all can hear the bacon over there crackling and popping, honey. do that and I like my bacon to be crispy so I cook it with a little bit of um olive oil so I'll just mix that up I'm about to put a little bit of olive oil in here so I don't have to put it in the pan and that's that so I decided to save time in dishes and put the shrimp in the pan that I just cooked the bacon in um because it'll have like the flavor of the bacon if used in the shrimp. And also the cast iron skillet will give it like a nice blackening to it. And I that's how I like my shrimp. I like my stuff well done. So my shrimp are done. The eggs are almost done. And my bacon is just how I like it. Um, while I was doing the shrimp, letting them cook, I put the salad mix in here. So it's three containers. Honestly, this is like two me two full meals for me. Each container is like two full meals for me. Um, but I didn't have any more of those like small containers I showed you yesterday. And this meal was so quick. Um, literally, it took me less than it's like a 20 minute meal if that um i'm about to put the salad together and then i'll show you all the finished product and here's the finished product And I'm going to put some of this um, Brianna's Homestyle Dijon Honey Mustard on there. And a dollop, and I mean a small dollop of the Holy Guacamole Avocado Verde. And that's just for the healthy fats. And this legit took me 20 minutes to make. Eggs boiling included. So I just wanted to show y'all how much I was able to eat. Let me move that over of the salads i was literally this is literally three salads for me um so yeah there's that and i still have you know i spread the shrimp out and all that stuff so i will probably take this to school with me and finish it not finish it but eat the other third for dinner or i feel like i want to eat my spaghetti for dinner so i'm gonna take that so i'll eat this again tomorrow and then i'll have salads for the rest of the week and this is Wednesday. The week is over soon. Okay, guys. So I'm still chilling around in my bonnet. So I decided to do a voiceover for this portion of the video. Um, here are all the ingredients that I used for my salmon um, couscous bowl. I thought it was quinoa, but I grabbed couscous instead. So we're going to make it do um, what it does. I have spinach here that was about to go so i decided to use that instead of um the green beans um i have this couscous i have salmon i had the guy at the fish market take the back part off the salmon and i cut it up in cubes already i have this minced garlic swerve brown sugar it is a great brown sugar substitute i have this smacking spices salmon that i've been holding on to dear life because they don't make it anymore and this seasoning was so bomb y'all i have smoked paprika i have dash of uh, dash of daisy sweet smoky rub i have dash of daisy honey garlic powder and I also have the Dash of Daisy regular um, garlic powder, garlic and herb. Then I have my Evo coconut aminos and then everything I need for the sauce, mayonnaise, honey, and sriracha. So the first thing I do is season my salmon um, to let it sit for a little bit. And I don't measure my seasonings. I just listen to God.
Then I just boiled the water for the couscous. I honestly just followed the instructions for the box on this one. So I heated the pan up for the salmon first before I put it in there and I just put it in there while it was sizzling hot. I already have olive oil on the salmon so I didn't need to add any and then I just allowed that to cook down for a bit. So I let the pan heat up before I cook my spinach and then I put some olive oil in it and I let that heat up some before putting the spinach in and then I allowed the spinach to cook down a lot before adding the seasoning and I added minced garlic some roasted garlic powder, a little bit of the cocoa, coconut aminos, and then when it was done to my liking, I let it simmer a little bit in some toasted sesame oil. Now it's time to make the sauce. It's just mayonnaise, sriracha, and honey, and whip it up. Here's the final product. Everything is finished. Now it is time to plate everything. While that was cooking, I cut up some cucumbers and some red onion. I completely forgot about the scallions. Um, and you could see how I'm putting it together. Basically, you put the couscous down first, the salmon, the spinach, and then you add the accoutrements. I think that's what it's called. So here's the finished product. I did not get to tape an outro for this video. I really enjoyed making these meals. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make them. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.